Now, I want to start off this video by telling you if you're looking for an oceanfront rental on Florida's Gulf Coast, it's not looking too great. There's not that much inventory out there. Everything I found was very expensive, but I did my best to compile a list of places that are either on the beach or pretty close to the beach. And the criteria I used in the last video for the East Coast version of this was two bedroom, two bath, and up to $3,000 a month. But in this video, we're gonna have to throw in some one bedrooms and places that don't have an ocean view because there's simply not enough listings out there that actually meet this category. I like to throw 10 of these in here in these type of videos to give you guys a good selection. And I couldn't even find 10 two bedroom rentals on Florida's Gulf Coast. And we're talking all of the Gulf Coast, all the way up from Alabama in the Panhandle, all the way down to Naples. So. Literally, I couldn't even find 10, guys. So that's the kind of pricing situation we're looking at right now with Florida's oceanfront rental market, especially on the Gulf Coast. So let's jump into it. I'll show you the listings that I did find that I think are the best deals out there right now. Now, this first one we're gonna look at is a small little two bedroom, one bath house. And I do mean small. We're talking 780 square feet. That's the size of most one bedroom apartments. And it's $3,000 a month in St. Petersburg, Florida pretty much right across the street from the beach. And they are offering this house at a seasonal or long-term rental, but they don't say if the $3,000 a month is for seasonal or for an annual rental. But I'm assuming that this price is for the annual rental. And if you wanted to rent it short-term, it's probably gonna be even more expensive than that. So keep that in mind as we're looking at this property. So I chose this house because I couldn't actually find anything else in the St. Pete Beach area other than this when it comes to two bedrooms. This was the cheapest two bedroom property rental I could find anywhere in St. Pete Beach. So that's why we're starting with this one. And we're also going from the most expensive to the cheapest. So funny enough how the most expensive one we're starting with is actually the cheapest in this area. But the nice thing about this property is it does have a nice yard here. You can come out, have some drinks, have some coffee in the morning. I like that it's just like a regular house. You can just step outside your front porch and be in your yard. You know, they have a minimal amount of furniture in here. Nothing crazy with the decorations going on. So at least you could add your own little touch to it. The bathroom looks to have been updated at some point a little bit. It looks like a pretty quiet street as well. And of course you got the beach access right across the street here. So that's nice. That's what we're looking for. And it's what you'd expect for a small little house. At least it looks like the layout is very functional and it looks like a pretty comfortable little house, even though it's just a small little house. You got your two bedrooms here and we already saw the one bathroom. And they just have a bed in here, nothing fancy, a little closet. So you could like, like I said, you can bring in a little bit of your own furniture maybe and make this place your own. And it's also good for short term as well. This next one we're gonna be looking at is in Sarasota, Florida. And for the same exact price, $3,000 a month, all we're getting is a one bedroom, one bathroom at 680 square feet. And it's not even on the beach guys, but it's pretty close. So that's this is the best I could do. And I am not making this up. You can go do the search for yourself and you'll see that there's just nothing out there. So this again is basically just a one bedroom condo. It's furnished and we got a newer bathroom here. And you can see you have the water there, but it's not the beach. So it's nice that you have the water nearby, but if you really wanna to go to the beach, you're gonna to have to take a short little drive probably over to like Longboat Key or something like that. So it looks like they have this on a little uh, condo complex that's on the water. So at least they do have some waterfront areas to relax and enjoy and walk around like this. And for some people that might be good enough. Maybe you don't need to be on the beach, but the kitchen in this place looks pretty old. And as you can see, they're kind of focusing more on the outdoor amenities of this place rather than the inside of the unit because it really is nothing special. I guess you could consider this a beach. It's a small little private beach they have here. I didn't see this until now, but um, hey, that's better than actually having to drive to go to the beach. So maybe this really does count as beachfront. That's a nice little surprise here. And I'm looking at all these for the first time with you. I just selected the listings based on the price and the location. But I'm looking at all the pictures with you, giving my impromptu feedback. So, okay, we got a nice little oceanfront, one bedroom, townhouse unit, but $3,000 a month. And we're under the third listing already, and we still haven't come down in price. We're still at the $3,000 a month price point. But at least with this one, we're getting two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a lot more square footage here. We're getting 1,200 square feet, 
and it's also located in one of my favorite spots in all of Florida, which is Longboat Key, and just a very short walk over to the beach. So let's take a look at this property. This definitely looks like a total little beach house. Even the outside yard has that beach vibe. They got like shells and gravel for the, the yard here. This is a cool little porch they have. They have like a little area out here to sit as well with some plants covering the top. That's pretty neat. Oh, we have terrazzo floors. That's cool. Furniture is a little bit old, but let's see what else we got here. Oh, at least we got a new kitchen. That kitchen looks very nice. And then it's nice to have this nice big window in the kitchen that not only you can see outside while you're in the kitchen, but you can open it up and get some fresh air coming in there when you're cooking. We got a, a washer and dryer unit here, all brand new appliances. So even though the furniture's dated, this kitchen is very nice. And definitely so far the nicest listing we've seen for this $3,000 price point. Dining room. We got official bedrooms here. You can tell this is a very old house. It doesn't look like they have central AC. I saw a window unit in the other bedroom there. So chances are this whole house probably has just window units for the AC system. And they have the, the old style windows here as well. They, those might be jealousy windows. It's hard to tell, like some bigger jealousy windows. But this house is pretty cool. It's like a blast from the past, but they, they have some things that are modern that really count, like a little bit more of a modern bathroom here and the modern kitchen. I kind of like it, actually. I don't know if this yard belongs to there. Probably not. Probably just the gravel part. But it is a nice, real little house. That's the cool thing about it. Yeah, you do have a yard here, but it's all gravel. So at least that's good for maintenance if you're living there. I don't know who's covering the lawn care here, but there is no lawn to worry about, so that's cool. Overall, I like this listing, and I like Longboat Key, so I'm a little bit biased here. And this is another example, guys. Like, okay, this place is $3,000 a month, but the price varies. If you look in the listing here during the season, like January through April, they're charging $6,000 a month, so double for this place. May through December is $3,000, so they're probably already marketing this place in advance for the upcoming May through December season at $3,000 a month, or maybe they just put it at $3,000 a month for now, if it's available for now, just to get people looking at it and biting, you know? And if people don't read the description, they call in and say, hey, I'm interested in this place, but yeah, if you wanna move in in February, it's $6,000 a month. For this next one, we're moving up to Panama City Beach, Florida, which I still consider the Gulf Coast. It is the Florida Panhandle, but it's on the west coast of Florida, the Gulf Coast. We're, we're talking Gulf of Mexico here. So anywhere that's on the Gulf of Mexico counts for this video. And so far, this one gives the best value. It's 2,800 a month, three bedroom, three bathrooms, almost 1,500 square feet. And let's see what the listing says real quick about short-term rentals. Let's see if we can find any information on that since a lot, of, a lot of you want to know about that. It says only available during months of November to February. So that's not very long. So it is a short-term rental and uh, it's $2,800 a month at least. So it's not crazy overpriced and especially for three bedroom, three bathroom. If you come down with some family, you could split this cost and it could be a very cheap getaway for a couple of months. So that's cool. I'm not even sure why they have this listed now since it's almost February, but let's take a look at it anyhow. So obviously it's on the beach and this is the first one that actually has an ocean view that would fall into the same category as the ones we were looking at on Florida's East Coast. Definitely seems to be the most modern one so far as well. The kitchen's modern, the furniture and decor is a lot more modern. Um, the layout seems a little bit weird. Everything seems a little bit crunched together for 1500 square feet. I'm kind of surprised about that but it could just be the pictures. It's nice to have the his and her sinks in here and uh, a nice decent sized bathroom. You can see they got like a jacuzzi tub back there, the shower, toilet separated, so that's cool. And you can see they got it set up for, you know, a whole short-term rental family getaway type deal. They got the master bedroom there. They have the bunk beds here. In fact, my family and I stayed in a place kind of like this when I was a kid, you know, they had it all set up just like that, ready for a big family to come and stay. Same thing here. At least they all got windows with some looks like to be like a nice view out there too. So that's cool. And I saw they have a little terrace somewhere. That's a pretty good sized shower. There's the terrace. And you can see we got the beach view right across the street. And notice that this property is not actually on the beach. Across the street are the properties that are on the beach. So that just goes to show you how difficult it was to find anything close to what we were looking at on the East Coast. So as of right now, it looks like Florida's East Coast definitely has the better deals to offer when it comes to oceanfront rentals, guys. Now, this place has a nice gym. 
decent facility here. And obviously, the beaches in Panama City are gorgeous. Nobody can argue with that. You got the complex here, that beautiful emerald coast with those white, powdery, sandy beaches. Okay, now we are moving on to Gulf Breeze, Florida. And this is another tricky one. It's kind of like by the water, but it, I'm not really sure if it's on the beach. But it looked like it was close enough, so I chose it. 2600 a month, two bedroom, two bathroom, 768 square feet, which is very small for a two bedroom unit. And this is another short term rental, guys. That seems to be pretty much the case for all of these so far. And that's not good when you're looking to move to Florida and you want to live by the beach. Because one thing you got to keep in mind about short term rentals is they take away the inventory for long term rentals. So all of the short term rental inventory that gets eaten up takes away from the inventory that would normally be available for long term renting. But with the recent advent of Airbnb and the profitability of these short term rentals, you can't really blame the owners of these properties for renting them short term because they just make so much more money. There is a greed factor here. But it really has an effect on the real estate market, and this is what we're seeing by looking at these. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. Let's take a look at this place, even though it's short term. Nice view from the beginning. You can see the water from the balcony, so that's cool. Even though this unit's pretty small, this the layout seems pretty nice, actually. You don't feel that 768 square feet by looking at the pictures. Not crazy modern, but definitely new enough. And obviously, we're right on the water. A little miniature beach here so I guess this is their beach kind of like the other one they make like a little fake beach there and uh, at least you don't have to drive anywhere and go to the beach so that's nice little outdoor party area pool you got a dock and that's about it for the pictures only 16 they could have done better on some more pictures here but this is what we got all right with this next one we're finally getting to a listing that I would consider somewhat of a good deal here we got a two bedroom two bathroom $2,400 a month, it has an ocean view, and it's right on the beach. This property gets much closer to the East Coast properties we were looking at just last week. But again, it is another seasonal rental. Almost every single one of these so far has been a seasonal rental, which is pretty unbelievable. In the last list, I would say maybe only half of them were, and the other ones were available for long term. And you can see they give the whole breakdown here of pricing and when it's available. So even though it's $2,400 a month, that can fluctuate as you can see here. But let's just take a look at the pictures. You guys can come back and rewind this part of the video if you wanna see more of the prices here. So at least the terrace is nice and that view is beautiful. And we're talking the Venice Beach area and that's also a very nice beach. The most famous spot in Florida to do some shark teeth collecting. Well, the place seems pretty nice. It seems decent, you know. Nothing too fancy, but uh, pretty much on par with everything else we've seen so far. Huh? So far. <laughs> I definitely don't love the furniture in this place, but you know, when you're renting a furnished place, guys, you don't get to pick. And uh, let's face it, you're, you're renting this place to be on the beach for a couple of months or just a month or whatever it is you rent it for. You're not renting it because it has the most magnificent decorations or furniture. The kitchen's pretty old in this one as well. But hey, again, we're on the beach. Overall, seems like a pretty decent listing and one of the better deals we've seen so far. Now here's like one of these bonus listings I'm throwing into this list because this is a house. It's not on the beach, but you can see by the map here, it's very close, maybe just like a two or three minute walk to the beach. You just got across 30A and you're at the beach, but it's a big house. We're talking 2,300 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. They consider it a townhouse and it's only 2,395 a month. So this seems like a pretty valuable deal. And this is in Panama City Beach. So let's take a look. You have a carport, not a garage, but at least you got a decent amount of parking. Kitchen is big, somewhat updated. The furniture again is just like so-so. Looks like there's a lot of storage space in here. After all, it is a 2,300 square foot house. The pictures are awful, I'm not gonna lie. But the property itself probably isn't too bad. But it looks like maybe they're neglecting this place a little bit just by how the pool area looks. Everything looks kind of dirty and not very well maintained in the yard. So who knows what that goes for when it comes to the house. So that could be a bad sign. This is definitely one you'd wanna go see in person. You wouldn't wanna rent this site unseen. But let's see real quick what they say about the listing situation. So they don't allow pets here, and it includes all the utilities. What about the rental terms? You see, this one doesn't actually say 
if it's available for short term or long term. So I'm assuming that this is a long term rental, probably an annual lease because this price is too low to be a short term rental, I would imagine. But hey, you never know. You just, you just got to call and find out. Now we're getting into the more cheaper listings here. And these are literally the best deals I could find. But again, this is not on the beach. It doesn't have an ocean view, but it's close to the beach. And I chose this property as well, not only for the price, but the fact that it's two bedroom, two bathrooms. It's almost 1,100 square feet, and it's only 2,200 a month. So that's not bad at all. And this one's very clear right in the beginning of the listing that it is an annual rental, and it does come with parking, and no pets are allowed. So let's take a look. And now they do have carpet here in the main living room. A lot of people aren't going to like that. The kitchen is pretty outdated. There's carpet in the bedrooms as well. That's probably one of the reasons they don't allow pets. The bathrooms are kind of old. Right away, we can just tell that the property is probably in its original condition, or if it was remodeled, it probably was remodeled, you know, 25, 30 years ago. I like this sunroom slash Florida room that they have. That's a nice feature of this house. And anybody who knows Venice, Florida, it's a very quiet and safe area of Florida. So the location of this place is pretty good. Seems like it's in a little bit of a complex where they have the pool and stuff like that common areas here definitely looks more like a retirement type of property but you're by the beach now this listing guys is the only unit i could find in naples florida and it's not even on the beach one bedroom one bathroom 768 square feet 2200 a month and i just wanted to show you real quick because you know it's this is not a good deal at all if you ask me but it's in naples which is a very desirable area in florida so if you are looking in naples they have stuff like this but it just gets more expensive from here so you can be expecting to pay over three thousand dollars a month for a one bedroom here and probably over four or five thousand dollars a month for a two bedroom so be prepared so this one is actually an annual rental which is probably why the price is at 2200 even that i think is extremely high i would never pay this for a rental in naples i'm sorry but let's look at it real quick just give it a quick round of applause that it's even there it's available seems like a decent place it is all set for you ready to move in like a lot of these other furnace rentals and by the way furniture was not part of my criteria they just all happened to be furnished and these are the cheapest deals i could find so most of these were short-term rentals i'm surprised that this one's long term or maybe they don't allow short-term rentals in this complex that could definitely be the case as not all of them do at least with this terrace, they have some nice uh, screened in doors here. So that way you can keep the bugs out. That's nice. I wish we had more of that over here in Miami. I'm not sure why all these buildings don't have screened in doors. But yeah, overall, decent listing. Looks like a good location. Close to the beach, not on the beach, but you're by some water and uh, you can be to the beach pretty quickly at this property. Now we made it to the very cheapest one on the list at only $2,000 a month for a two bedroom, two bath. And it does appear to be right across the street from the beach in Pensacola, but there's hardly any information about this property. In fact, this is the only picture. There's no other pictures. And all we know about it is that it's waterfront. It has a pool and no yard work. They don't say anything else. This is a perfect example of a terrible listing, but it is the cheapest one I found on Florida's Gulf Coast. Now, if you wanna look at some better deals than this, then I highly recommend you go and check out my East Coast version of this video that I did right over here, and I'll see you guys over there.